Right, today we're going to be doing distributing distinct objects into identical boxes or offices. And this is the question we're going to be looking at from the JE Main Jan 2024 Shift 1. And I can assure you that most people get this wrong. And the reason why they get it wrong is because they think they're answering this. Okay, so let's answer this question first, which is what most people think this question is, but it isn't. Okay, this one here. Um, if we just answer, analyse the actual question, we have five different employees sitting in four indistinguishable or identical offices. And here we have five identical objects sitting in four different offices. This is what most people do to answer this question. What they do is they use stars and bars and they say, OK, uh, well, we got uh, five identical objects, one, two, three, four, five, and we got to snip it between uh, four different offices. So we go one, two, three, and we'll use the formula n plus m minus one c m minus one, which we've used on numerous occasions in this uh, uh, in the Gressy Academy YouTube videos, uh, which gives us um, 8C3, which equals 56. This is the correct way to answer that question. It is the wrong way to answer this question. Okay, the way we answer this question on the left is to use partitioning of distinct people into identical offices. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to list them. So we've got five different employees sitting in four indistinguishable offices where um, there may be zero people in any of the offices. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, let's have a look. A, if three of the offices are empty. Oh, well, if three of the offices are empty, then basically we have five um, employees in one office and zero in the other. There is only one way of doing that. Um, let's have a look at B, where two offices are empty. Okay, well, if two offices are empty, let's have a think. Uh, well, we could have four employees in one office and one in the other. How many ways can we do that? Well, we can do that five ways because there's five ways of picking that one employee. So it's five C1 ways, which equals five. Uh, and there's also, we could have three, two, zero, zero. That's another way of putting uh, the five employees into two offices. And how many ways of doing that? Well, we can pick these three employees here, 5C3 ways, and then the other two employees just go in the other one, or well, 5C3 equals 10. So the total number of ways that we can do where two offices are empty is equal to 15. So let's add that one up there. What about uh, C, where only one office is empty? Okay, well, one office empty, we could have 3, 1, 1, 0. All right, well, what, what's that? So basically we have... Uh, five C three ways of choosing those three uh, and the other one the other two would just go into any two of the other three identical offices and we already know that equals ten um, and what other way have we got well we've got two two one zero okay so uh, there are five C two ways of picking these two uh, and then there are three C one ways of picking those two but then we have to divide by two because um, it doesn't matter, they're identical offices, so we don't want to double count the 2 and the 2. So we have to divide by 2 factorial, which gives us 5C2 um, is, uh, 5C2 is uh, 10 times 3 over 2 factorial is 2, which equals 15. Okay, so the total number of ways for one office being empty is 10 plus 15, which is 25. And finally, let's try and keep it all on the same thing, uh, D... Um, zero offices empty. Well, if zero offices are empty, we can only have two, one, one, one. And the way to do that, basically, we have five C2 ways of picking those two, um, which we know is equal to 10. And that's the only way that we can have zero offices empty. So when we add these up, one, add 15, add 25, add 10, gives us 51. So the answer is 51, which is answer number three okay so let's keep going here though because um, in actual fact there's more we can do on this and um, so we, we know that the total number of ways is one add five add ten add ten add fifteen add ten which is uh, 51 uh, that's correct right now this is the ways when there were three empty offices and this is the ways here when there were two empty and this is the way here when there was one empty. And this is the way here when there were zero empty. Okay. Um, and these are actually the Stirling numbers of the second kind. 
um, which uh, is denoted as S N K, where basically that is the number of ways you can partition N distinct objects into K identical boxes. So that number there, one, is S uh, five one, and this number here, five out ten fifteen, is S five two, and uh, this number here, twenty five, is S five three, and finally this number here, ten is S54. Now in actual fact what we can do is we can just have a quick look at um, uh, the Stirling number table here. This is um, quite a well-known uh, table. It's called the Stirling number of the second time, second kind for counting the number of ways to partition a set of n distinct labelled objects into k non-empty identical unlabeled boxes and we can see that the question that we've just done which was splitting five um, distinct employees into four identical offices is actually the sum of all of that lot. 1 add 15 add 25 add 10 which gives us 51. Um, and basically this one here is the number of ways of putting five distinct employees into one non-empty office. This is the number of ways of putting five distinct employees into two non-empty offices. This is the number of ways of putting five into three non-empty offices. And this is the number of ways of putting the five employees into four non-empty offices. Um, so in actual fact, we can, we can do, if you can remember this table, by the way, especially if you can remember the early parts of the table, you can do these by inspection. Let's just very briefly do another question here. Alternative question two is basically identical to the question we've just done, except there are three indistinguishable offices instead of four indistinguishable offices. So if we had the sterling number of the second kind table, we could actually say, well, we know what the answer is. It's one, add 15, add 25, which is 41. So by inspection, we could say the answer to that is, oops, sorry, is 41. Correct. Well done. Um, and let's just do it uh, by hand if we want. Well, five different employees into three indistinguishable offices. We could have five, zero, zero. Well, there's only one way of doing that. Or we could have four, one, zero. Uh, and we there would be five ways of picking that one employee, which is 5C1, which is five, or we could have 320, and there would be three ways of picking the first three, uh, and then the, which is equal to 10, and that would be two empty offices. This one here is one empty office, which is a total of 15, and then uh, basically zero empty offices, would be here would be uh, 3, 1, 1, uh, which would be, uh, well, there's 5, C, 3 ways of picking those, which is equal to 10, and then 2, 2, 1, uh, which again is, uh, we've already discussed this, would be 5, C, 2 for that one, and then 3, C, 2 for that one, and then we've got to divide by 2 factorial so we don't double count, which equals 15, um, and so basically 25 is is the zero empty, so 25 add 15 add 1 is 41, which is correct. Um, and so basically you can do it this way. Um, you can do it by, if you've got a photographic memory, by all means remember this table. They don't tend to use any of these later ones uh, because they're so big. You tend to find almost all of the questions involve those ones there because they're smaller. So actually you could remember it um, if you have a good memory, um, which, which I don't. Um, and basically, the only other thing I would say here is remember, distinct objects, identical boxes, don't use stars and bars. Everybody does, and everybody gets it wrong. Hope you found this useful. If you have, please press the uh, little thumbs up button uh, to like the video and uh, subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.